hi friends welcome back to node.js tutorial so we are discussing about mysql connection and how to use mysql with node.js right so last day we discussed about how to create a connection and how to create a database and how to create a table right so now in this video i am going to discuss about how we can insert some record into the database so we have created a node project this is a database and this is my table name students right so we have id name email and phone and id is a primary key so we all created in our last video and now we are going to insert some data so simply uh, just create another uh, js file to insert some data so write insert dot js right now if i just going to add or if i just going to connect with a database we can simply write uh, these things that is we need mysql and we need connections so we just create a connection here now if i just want to insert some data into our database so simply just use the object that is the connection this is the variable we are using the create connection here so simply write con dot connect right and basically this is a closer function actually we are using the arrow function and this is the callback function and here simply write and if anything error that means there is error so simply throw the error so simply write throw error otherwise we can proceed right so simply we can write a console log uh, connected or something right now i just want to run a query so that we can insert some data so simply to run a query we need to write the con this is the object and then the query right con dot query and here we can pass the things first we can pass here some sql so we'll create a sql here actually let sql and we'll write our query here to insert some data and this also have a callback function so simply write in this way error and the next thing is is the result right so simply write res you can write res okay and just use the arrow function and inside this we can handle all the error sql and response right so simply in the same way if anything error we can throw the error this is the basic things and let's add the query so here my table name is students so simply just write a query insert into so you all know that how to insert data into uh, mysql or what is the insert query actually insert into the table name so my table name is students and then we need to set the column name so first name email and phone so just add this name email and phone and next we need to set the values right and in the value section we just write suppose john and email is john at the rate email dot com and inside uh, for a phone we can write plus nine one two is something right so simply just i am using the background so that we can accept the plus also right so this is the sql query and uh, if i just run this we can get the response so what is the response here if i just simply console log and just print the whole result which we are actually getting we can understand what we are actually getting so simply uh, run the application so node and insert dot js so just enter this so there is some error field id does not have default value i think something wrong when you created the id column so i just manually changing it so simply just make it auto increment and just save this okay and now let's run this again so we are getting the field count zero insert id and this is the server and all the things right and if i just check we can get the value here 
right now if i just want to get back the last inserted id we can get id through this way so simply just we can print the insert id so simply just go here again and here just write result uh, the insert id right so just copy this and paste it here right and just change the name suppose i'm writing johnny and right here johnny no problem if i still add these things there is no restriction now for for now and let's rerun this and we are getting the ids too sometimes we need something if i just going to insert and after the insert i need the value or i need the id which actually insert into database or which you recently add into the database so we can get in this way right so simply just refresh this again we are getting another value right so we are actually inserting this value individually or one by one right so if i just want to insert bulk data how we can we insert this so very simple so we need to change the sql so just go here and let sql and here simply just add the question mark and here actually we will parse all the values so simply just uh, write a values so write let values equal to uh, something i need array i want to insert multiple record at a time and we can pass here in this way sql and in the third bracket or you can say in this bracket we can pass the value in this way right and here we can add our value so simply just using this we can add multiple value right suppose i'm going to add three things suppose uh, name is um, anything suppose amal and the email is amal at the rate email dot com and for phone i just write some random number and in the same way just write david and email is david at the rate email dot com and for phone we can write this way right and another value so write here mike and email mike sorry mike at the rate email dot com and the phone number right so in this way we can get the values here right and here we can also print the affected row so here we can see if one value inserted we are getting effect row is one and let's see what is actually written if we just print here so it should three right now just go here and rerun this so let's clear this first and rerun this so this is three that means three records inserted so we can print inside here the three record inserted or something we can make it console like this record inserted sorry spelling mistake record inserted right and let's check here we are getting five records so if i rerun again we'll actually include all the three records again and we can output three records inserted so just go here and refresh so we are getting another three records right so basically this was the things how we can insert some data using node.js into mysql so this is simple video hope you can understand still if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section so next day we are going to discuss about uh, some select operation right so we'll get the data and we can add the condition and we can use all the select related things right so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye